uh, we frequently rely on intuition uh, to make decisions. Although some people would like to think that intuition is something that cannot be defined, neuroscience is revealing that it is an observable function of the brain that combines previous experience and skill gained by repetition, allowing that brain to make a split second very quick decisions about what course of action to take. In our study, we wanted to understand how the brain decides between two different strategies attack or defense. Uh, we found that people uh, make a decision on what uh, strategy to take in a given situation, either defensive or offensive, just by analyzing the current situation without uh, considering a specific actions deeply. This makes the strategy decision very fast. Uh, board games uh, such as shogi or chess uh, give us opportunity to study how the strategy decision is made in the brain. Shogi, like chess, is a game of strategy. But unlike chess, in shogi, players can return their opponent uh, captured pieces again to the board as pieces of uh, their own side. Uh, because of this rule, the number of pieces on the board doesn't decrease to the end of game in shogi. And then moves can be more clearly classified into defense and attack than in chess. A defense is to defend their king and attack is to attack the opponent king. We ask the high level amateur shogi players to engage in several decision tasks while we monitor their brain activity by functional magnetic resonance imaging. In one task, they were shown a board pattern of shogi and asked to decide on the strategy for the next move, attack or defense. In a control task, the participants were instructed to use either a defense or attack strategy and to pick the best next move under the given strategy out of several choices. They had to make a choice quickly within two seconds in both tasks. We found that the participants made the strategy decision much faster and more accurately than the next move decision, suggesting that the strategy decision is made intuitively without considering specific moves deeply. Several brain areas were activated specifically during the strategy decision task. But to our surprise, we observed a difference in brain activity depending on the strategy that they selected. When the participant uh, picked defense, the rostral anterior cingulate cortex was activated, but when they picked attack, the posterior cingulate cortex was active. The cingulate cortex is a complicated brain area, uh, which is said to be involved in emotion, uh, cognition, and uh, motor tasks. Uh, we think that the two brain regions in the cingulate cortex encode the values of the two strategies. Uh, we found that the majority of participants uh, had, had a bias uh, toward uh, picking the attack strategy, even when it was not the optimal selection. Uh, professional players uh, do not have such a bias. Uh, we found that attack bias, this attack bias in amateur players, correlated with the strategy value representation in their cingulate cortex. When the posterior activity was higher and the rostral activity was lower, the player tended to select attack. Our study reveals the brain areas involving intuitive strategy decisions and the basic principles of the decisions. We hope that our studies ultimately help to guide people to make better decisions.